It's important to know what to expect when you or your loved one enters the hospital. It is just as important to know what happens when you are ready to leave. This short video is to guide you through the discharge planning process. We encourage you to include your loved ones in your care. To make the discharge process go smoothly, keep these three B's in mind. Be realistic, be persistent, be prepared. Good morning, Mrs. White. I have good news. Dr. Johnson is in the nurse's station reviewing your chart right now. Looks like you'll be going home today. He'll be in here soon. Good morning, Linda. How are you feeling today? Jellyfish. That's I'm feeling good. pretty much better. That's good to hear. I know we have two other doctors involved with your care. Nurse Nicole will place the call to make sure they agree with the discharge. As soon as I finish up with you, I'll write up the discharge papers and we'll get things moving. Should I call my husband and get dressed now? Yes, now is a good time to call him. Uh, it could be several hours before we're ready to release you, and we want him here when we review the discharge instructions and your medications to take it home. So go ahead and call him, but don't get dressed yet and leave your telemetry box in place and your IV. I'll remove those when it becomes closer for time for you to go. Is that working for you? Yes, I understand. I'll go ahead and call Bob in just a minute and find out when he can come over. Thank you, Nicole. You're welcome. I'll be back as soon as I know something, probably 30 minutes or so. Sometimes it seems as though discharge from the hospital happens all at once and in a hurry. But discharge planning is a process, not a single event. You very likely have already met your care coordinator, case manager. Hi there. My name is Jane. I'm an RN case manager. Before we get started, may I please have your name and date of birth? Robert Redford, January 15th, 1945. Thank you. It's really nice to meet you. Um, like I said, I'm a case manager, and part of what we do is find out how you manage at home and see if there's anything we can do to assist you in preparation for going home. So, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go ahead, go ahead. With whom do you live, if anybody? My wife, Betty, her cell phone number is 555-1212. Oh, thank you. Um, sir, um, I noticed that you came in by ambulance today. And I was wondering, um, I wanted to just let you know that in regards to transportation when you leave here, that we, we also help arrange that. That's part of our role as case managers. But um, sometimes, often, actually, most insurances do not cover for transport. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. Okay, thanks. This interview and the information that is gathered is all part of our effort to help the discharge process go smoothly when you leave the hospital to your home, a rehab center, nursing home, or somewhere else outside the hospital. Remember, discharge from our hospital doesn't mean you are fully recovered. It simply means your doctor has decided that your condition is stable and you do not need to stay in the hospital anymore. Hello there. My name is John. I'm one of the case managers. I, you know, I've been talking to Nicole, your nurse, and uh, she's been able to contact Dr. McGree and he's agreed to let you guys go, or let you go, not you. Uh, he's agreed to let you go today. I uh, just want you to know that somebody will be calling you within 48 hours to do a follow-up on how you're doing. Isn't that nice, honey? Isn't that sweet? Somebody will call me tomorrow or the next day to check on me? Yes. Uh, it's very important to make an appointment to see your family doctor. You know, if she's in bed and she can't do it, you know, you take it, you know, and you make the appointment for her. Uh, he needs to be informed of all the meds, you know, that she was taking here, if there's been any changes to your current medication. Um, and this list will, you know, assist both of you, you know, in staying on top of her care. Hi, Linda. I just spoke with Dr. Martin, your lung doctor. He's here in the hospital and he wants to see you before you go home, but he'll be in in about an hour. I understand about the discharge paperwork, but can I get dressed now? Can I get, can you take out this IV and can I get rid of this crazy box? For your safety, let's leave it in until Dr. Martin gets here. Getting dressed and taking, taking care of all those details won't take long. You know, this is a good time for you to think of any concerns that you might have. Yeah, we should make a list, honey. Do you have a pen? Maybe uh, we can make a list. You know, I do have a pen. I do have a pen. Nonetheless, you know, here at the hospital, we put together this discharge planning checklist. You know, that 
allows you to, you know, input the the medication that you're taking, the dosages, the times, things of that nature, so that you guys can both, you know, be in the, you know, the care plan. And if she's asleep again or, you know, forgot something, you can easily refer to that, you know, to that packet. Oh, my little stickies here. I'm sorry about that. But if you want to make any notes, here's your pen. Everything is right on track with Linda's discharge plan. Sometimes, however, there are things that slow down the discharge process. These could include medical equipment that has not been delivered that is important before you leave. If it isn't, it will be delivered to your home later that day by the equipment company. Transportation by an outside agency may create a delay. We try to have these arranged in advance, but things come up like heavy traffic. We do not have the ability to fill your prescriptions in the hospital. We are not a retail pharmacy. Be sure to plan for medication needs and refills. If we know there is a problem beforehand, we will address it. Our goal is for you to have a safe transition home as easily and quickly as possible. If you need or want a copy of your medical record, you can call the hospital or stop by medical records at the time of discharge or another day. Remember to ask questions and be honest about any concerns you have. There is no such thing as a silly question. Hi, Linda. Hi. Heard you're pretty anxious to go home. Okay. I just wanted to talk with you and examine you before you leave. Okay. So, you had pneumonia, and you've also had it earlier this year. So I just want to make sure you're breathing really well, and that you're truly ready to go home. Okay. So, let's take a quick listen. It's easy to go home and do too much. Be sure to rest, take your medications as directed, and be sure to keep all your follow-up appointments with your doctors. If you have lab work to do after you leave, be sure to follow through on this. This is all part of getting better. Stay away from people who are ill and don't rush going out to dinner or a shopping trip. It is very important to continue to take care of yourself and fully recover. Well, I think you're ready to go home. So, I'll write a prescription for you and it'll be an antibiotic. So, follow the directions exactly and take it as prescribed, okay? If you have any problems, call my office. I'd like to see you back here in one week. We can discuss the sleep study test when you come in next week, okay? Did you need any refills on inhalers? Anything else I can do for you today? No. Okay, perfect. Just write up my paperwork so I can get dressed and get home. And I'll call you next week to make that appointment for next week. Okay, perfect. Sounds good and get plenty of rest, okay? Thank you, Dr. Thank you. I'll be back in about 15 minutes with your discharge paperwork and the paperwork for you to sign. But first, let's take out that ID and that telemetry box. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to ask our staff. Your health and experience are our highest priority at Dignity Health.